from the global resources of ABC News with Terry Moran, Martin Bashir, and Cynthia McFadden in New York City. This is Nightline, July 15th, 2010. And when we come back, we'll turn to food and one Renaissance man who calls the kitchen his home. Dinner is served in tonight's plate list. Let's turn now to food and a four-star chef who combines high cuisine with a casual vibe. That recipe is enough to make his namesake restaurant one of Chicago's finest. So does he care to dish? Graham Elliott Bowl shares his culinary secrets in tonight's Plate List. A lot of people take for granted the idea that uh, you know, you're, you're, they think that we're going to be here forever, that life is just, you know, this thing we do, we go to work, we come home, and there's family and, and things like that. And I know that there's a clock ticking. You know, I've always thought that I was going to have a short existence here. You're born, you die. In between, you know, there's so much that you can do. To sit and just do one thing as opposed to being like the Renaissance man, that it's just not as fulfilling. we are doing is creating a dish that symbolizes springtime. Pea tendrils and freeze-dried peas. Get our little freeze-dried action. Drizzle it with a little bit of sassy olive oil. So we're going to create kind of a nest right over here on the side. We are going to take our marshmallow, dusting it with a little bit of pink peppercorn, and then pour the pea bisque over it. I am a capitalist at heart and I believe in giving the best product possible to the guest. If Joe Farmer decides to have a pickup truck that gets three miles of the gallon and wears his overalls and drives from Wisconsin to here and, you know, sells really lettuce, why should I feel like I have to support him? I'm supposed to support that because it's politically correct right now. I definitely don't, don't follow that idea. You decided to be a farmer. I made a choice to be a chef and open a restaurant. I don't expect anybody not to go to Applebee's or Ruby Tuesdays to come support me because of what I decided to do. Stir that marshmallow into the soup and that will dissolve and add those sweet mint infusions. The pea bisque with mint marshmallow, freeze-dried peas, pink peppercorns, and pea tendrils. Mmm, I wanna make love to that. In high school, I was very different. I tried to start, start my own religion. I was very much into to being in a band and being a philosopher and living out in the woods and following like the Kerouac lifestyle. I, I think my dad, being in the Navy, um, was always kind of fearful that my being out there on the edge uh, could be taken or seen, you know, as a failure on his part to, to keep me in line, whereas I, my mom balanced that out by, you know, that sounds great, honey, go do it, convert everybody. So I always say that whenever you're dealing with fish, you know, it's like dealing with a woman. You want to just, you know, be very nice and gentle and how you touch it, you know, everything's very sensuous, so. Drizzle with a little bit of olive oil, fleur de sel, avocado mousse, a little bit of cocoa nib, a little radish action. Take our passion fruit, which is almost like natural fruit caviar, if you will. Some crispy plantain action. Finish with our passion fruit and chili sorbet. That is sassy. Food to me in one word is, is creativity. It's thought provoking, emotional, sensuous, romantic. Cooking is something that's much more personal and spontaneous and, and always changing. We should stick to cooking. It does look good, though. And if you're a reminder, if you've got a favorite chef you'd like to see featured in our Plate List series, we're accepting nominations for a contest we've called the People's Plate List. It's a lot of fun. We've got hundreds of nominees. You can find all the details on the Nightline page at abcnews.com. When we come back...